So my cat had a bit of a miracle happen today. Last night I was speaking to my daughter and I was telling her about the fact that my cat is bored and there's not much for him to do during the day. So he kind of pouts around and he sleeps a lot. And I mean, I'm in a one bedroom apartment, right? So yeah, there's not really a lot for him to do. So I take him for walks in the stroller and stuff like that, but it's not the same as being able to play. So I've been trying to find him toys that keep him interested and <laughs> that's almost impossible. So anyway, I've got a whole bunch of toys. I've got uh, scratch pads, the little poles that he scratches on. He does that for a little while, then he gets bored. And he, you know, plays with my flowers or plays with the trees I have or, you know, but it's still not enough. So I thought, well, he needs a little space of his own. So I was kind of saying to her, you know, I priced those cat trees at Pet Pet Smart, I think it's called in Canada. I can't afford them. I'm a senior on a budget. And I mean a limited budget. So I said, I can't afford it. Like, you know, maybe I can get someone to make me one. So she was thinking about it. My daughter's pretty handy, right? She's like, Andy, Andy. Anyway, um, so I went, we talked about it. And she said, I might be able to, right? So, and I thought, oh. So I went to bed, woke up in the morning, and I thought, I'm going to get my cat out today. It's nice that before it starts to storm, I'm going to take him for a walk in the stroller. So I did. And where I go for my walk, there's like a, a Salvation Army there. It's like a, a thrift store. Well, I don't know Salvation Army, but it's a thrift store. Anyway, so I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to take a peek in there. And I had the cat with me in the, in the, the stroller, covered stroller, so it was okay. So I went in, I was looking around, and as I was going, I don't have any money to spend. I was thinking, like, why am I in here? I'm not going to have any money to spend. So I went to the back just to look at the furniture, just curious, right? Because sometimes you can get good deals, and then I could save up my money. I could purchase something and maybe redo it, revamp it. I love doing that kind of stuff. Anyway, the good Lord is watching out after my tabby, I'm telling you. Because I wasn't going to go to that thrift store. I was, I was going to go directly from my walk and come directly home just to give the cat some fresh air. As I'm walking down by the furniture, to the right of me, I spy with my little eye, a cat tree. I was like, oh my God. And it was like one of the one, two, three, four, the four tier. And it has like uh, one, two, three, four. And it has four of the scratch pads. And I thought, oh, if I could afford it, like, oh my God. So I, I said to someone, do you know how much that is? Because there's no price on it. She said, I don't know. So I went and I asked the teller, the, the girl who's working there. And she was dressed, I think, in a banana costume. Yeah, so some days they kind of get dressed up for fun things. Anyway, she was wearing this bright yellow costume. You couldn't miss her. So I said to her, I said, there's no price on that cat tree. Is there any way you're finding out? Because I know people put stuff on layaway, right? So I thought, well, maybe. So I asked her, and she couldn't find the price. She went in the back, and she asked them, and they gave her the price. <laughs> um, it almost feels like thievery. Like, you know, it almost feels like... Anyway, so the cat tree looked almost brand new. But there was a few stains on it, and it was a little crooked, and there was some of the rope that had uh, let go from the, one of the poles. I'm a handy person, just like my daughter. Where do you think she learned them? Anyway, so I, I, I got the price and I thought, geez, I don't know. I don't know if I have that much in there. Right? So anyhow, it was senior day, apparently. She said, well, don't you know it's senior day? I was like, oh, that's right. You get something off it. I might be able to afford it. So I literally carried this cat tree on my shoulder. And when you see it, I'm going to show you a picture of it. When you see it, you're going to see it was heavy. So I bought it. I bought it. I, went, I carried it up to the front, and I said to the girl, could you tell me how much it is? And she told me. I was like, I can afford that. Oh, my goodness, right? So I bought it. I bought it. But I live a piece down um, from the store. So I had to carry it. And once again, thrifty Mary here. I threw it on my shoulder and off I went and I walked all the way home with the cat tree on my arm, pushing the stroller with one hand and holding the cat tree on the other arm. Thank goodness today is one of my good days and I'm not feeling weak or dizzy. 
So anyway, I got it home. I sprinkled baking soda on it, let it sit for half an hour because that will kill any little critters that are left over, right? Then I noticed there was a couple of spots where I guess the pet that had it before had maybe defecated or had vomited, right? So I had to clean it. So I'm thinking this might, their pet might have passed away, right? So that's what I'm thinking and my spirit is just like, anyways, I washed it and uh, I sprayed it with some, uh, repellent and then I sprinkled some more baking soda. I vacuumed it, I washed it, I combed it, I scraped some of the the fur that was not like soft. I scraped that off with a razor. Like I did all those little tiny detail things. And I'll tell you. I'm gonna post a video of my cat and his first experience on this cat tree. I used to have one that went from the ceiling to the floor, but he destroyed it, right? He would run and he would jump on it. <laughs> and I mean jump on the on the top here. That's how good my cat is. He's like a little leopard, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, he was so excited. I had to make a video, so I, I put my camera on the floor. I only have my computer camera, so I put it on the floor and I videotaped it and wait till you see. It was like, the divine sent it to me. I know, I know they did because I know he did because I wasn't even going to go to the store. And something drew me to the store. I thought, ah, I'll just take a peek in. And it was senior day. And I could afford it. And it wasn't totally destroyed. I could fix it. Right? And I had just been talking about it with my daughter the night before. So, you know, thank you. And that's all I can say. And this isn't the first time. This is the second time this happened. And I think I even posted a video earlier in my videos about me wanting to get one of those backpacks to take my cat for a walk. Because I had improvised. You have no idea what I did. I improvised to be able to take my cat for a walk. Oh, trust me. I used my walker and a basket. <laughs> that would take my cat for a walk. Yeah. So I, I prayed for one of those backpacks. I really did. I truthfully said, like, if you can help me, you know, point me in the right direction. And I actually was in a thrift store, and something kept drawing me back to this one section of the thrift store. And I went back, and there was a, like, a, a duffel bag on the floor, and I thought, ah, oh, whatever. And, then, you know, I kind of picked it up, just interested, just looked, and was going to put it down. And lo and behold, it was one of those cat carriers with the... the the plastic or fiberglass or whatever it is, the one that you can see through for the cat to see out and it had air holes on it. It had, you know, the, it was a backpack for cats. And I got it for like so cheap. I can't remember the price, but I had it for a long time. So what I did is I passed it off to someone else when I got my cat stroller, which once again was a gift from the divine. It was left downstairs for me. So you know what I'm saying? Like I've had so many blessings come my way so i decided to bless someone else and it was someone who had uh guinea pigs and i thought well that would be cute for them to be able to take their guinea pigs out in the fresh air so i gave it to this person and they were very thankful so you know when you get a blessing give a blessing back in return right so i'm going to show you the cat tree and i'm going to post a video of my cat's first experience on his new cat tree so I'll be back shortly, and you will enjoy that little video because he went nutso. He went absolutely nutso on his cat tree, and he was like upside down, sideways, and I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy it because I know I enjoyed watching it. So I'll be right back. 